also trending down, Hollywood Brown, uh, Andy Reid, but, as we get into the Roto World the Fantasy Life Plus, The Fantasy Life Plus featuring the Roto World Draft Guide is seriously ridiculous. It is really, really... It is. Uh, I said that. I said that in the promo. Right? I know. I know. Right. I'm just. Uh, but I'm doing it off the top of my head. I don't need to read uh-huh. any promo. I just know how good this is. Organic. Uh, we we spent over a year developing these tools. They're unbelievable. They will make you better. I promise you. And obviously, Roto World Draft Guide speaks for itself. Be sure to check it out. All right. Andy Reid said that Hollywood Brown could miss some time with a shoulder injury. He suffered in Saturday's preseason game against the Jags. It is a sternoclavicular joint dislocation. Uh, Reid compared Brown's injury to the same one that knocked Tyree Kill out for four games in 2019. So it looks like he may miss some time to start the season. Lawrence, I think beyond this injury, it's just it's more just the whole body of work for Hollywood Brown's injury history, and it just seems like it's always something with Brown. Yeah, you know, he had some issues last year with health uh, as well. You just like to see him get out there on the field, especially week one against the Ravens there. He was being drafted as the top Kansas City. I'm sorry, not the top Kansas City receiver, but he was seen as the best value because most people are pending or thinking that Rasheed Rice may be suspended there. So definitely a setback for him. But on the other side, though, this give Xavier Worthy a chance to get even more reps with the ones he started in week one of the preseason. So it'll get him, it'll give him a chance to uh, show more of what he can bring to that offense. Matthew, do you think think there's any pickup, any one whose ADP skyrockets as a result of this bit, Xavier Worthy or Rasheed Rice, Rasheed Rice, by the way, who, who may not, it's not a hundred percent that he gets suspended at this point. I think he might be the guy whose, whose value might be there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Rasheed Rice is, is actually probably being underdrafted at the moment because of that. I, I do think that, I mean, he played 100% of the snaps with Mahomes in, in the preseason game. And to your point, like what the NFL often does, we saw this with Alvin Kamara. The NFL often does is they want the legal, pro, before they rule on whether a player should be suspended or not, they want the legal process to play out. And so that's the thing. So like, again, I, I don't have it off the top of my head, but when Rasheed Rice's case is, and then, does it happen and are there there motions to delay and to you know when he's out of the season and blah 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 and it just court cases take a long time our our court system as a country is just overwhelmed uh it you know it it takes years and years sometime for for uh for cases to be seen and and so there's certainly a chance that Rasheed Rice does that the legal case doesn't happen um until a point at which point the the suspension wouldn't happen until next year Again, if there's a suspension, uh, you know, all, you know, innocent until proven guilty, blah, 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 all that. But um, we, I expect a suspension for Rasheed Rice, you know, based on what I know of the case. But again, the NFL is going to wait and to see sort of what the, what the legal punishment is or what the legal ruling is, I should say, before they rule there. So I do think there's a, the chance that Rasheed Rice doesn't get spent this year, or if he does, maybe it's less games than people might think. So we'll see. I think if there's a quote positive to the injury here is that it means that probably more playing time and potentially more playing time with Patrick Mahomes in the preseason for Xavier Worthy. So to answer your question, does anyone skyrocket an ADP? No, I don't think anyone skyrockets an ADP, but I would move Xavier up a little bit more because I think he's going to get more reps with, uh, with the first team and more comfort level. The fact is the Chiefs use so many different formations and so many different personnel that they all sort of mix and match, and it's always so tough to pick on anyone that's going to be consistent. It's hard to say that there's going to be somebody that has consistent fantasy value outside of Kelsey and Rasheed Rice as long as Rasheed Rice is on the, on the field. But I do think if you're taking a flyer on Xavier Worthy, and it's certainly a worthy flyer to do, hey oh, uh-huh. um, uh, that that uh, I think you can up him a little bit because again, I do think with with Brown out and likely missing a few games to start the season, Worthy's going to get more playing time, not just in an actual game, but more importantly, just to learn the offense and get comfortable with Patrick Mahomes. Yep. Packers running back Marshall and Lloyd suffered a hamstring injury in Saturday's preseason game against the Browns. Looks like it's just minor. I don't think there's anything to read into here. AJ Dillon is going to be the number two to start the season. The bigger news uh, that at least got people worried briefly, uh, doesn't seem like it's too much though, the Giants, they think that Malik Neighbors, he just has a minor ankle sprain. We'll say, though, if you watch the uh, the interview with Brian Dayball um, from today where he talks about Neighbors, it's a little weird. He says, 
I don't think he has a fracture. It's like, how, how is that an opinion? Like, it's either he's got a fracture or right. he doesn't. But uh, Lawrence, I can't imagine there's much to do with neighbors off of this, given that it seems so minor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's like the Hollywood Brown is thing is more of a thing than this would be. They're talking about Malik Neighbors being day to day. So I don't think he'll be in any danger of uh, starting uh, week one with Daniel Jones. We're expected to see him have 39 targets in that week. So uh, anyone who drafted Malik Neighbors, you should be good to go. Uh, yeah, he seems to be in for a massive year. Also, he did an interview with Kay Adams immediately after um, he got hurt. So, I, again, I think that is probably a sign that he is going to be fine um, and is set for a big year. At- hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.